In this example, we will see how we can write a script to start a Windows service if not running. So let's work with the service in our case. And let's find the print spooler here. Print spooler is the display name. So let's get the service name and the service name is spooler. And let's use the PowerShell ISC and run this as administrator. Okay, the very first step in the script will be to get the service name from the user. And to get the input from the user, we will take help of read host commandlet. And whatever the service name the user will enter, let's store that in a variable. So let's say service input is equal to read host to get the input from the user. And let's print the message on the console that please enter the service name. The next step will be to get the service object for the service the user will enter. And for that, we will take help of get service command line. So write get service and we have to mention the service for which we need the service object and that is stored inside our service input variable. So let's give that and let's store the result in the variable as well. So let's say service info. Okay. Now we have to check whether the service is running or not. So for that we will use the if condition if and we have the service object. So let's use that. If the service dot status status is the property that will tell us whether the service is running or not. So is not equal to any stands for not equal to running bracket close curly braces open curly braces close in that case write on the console that service is not started and starting the service okay and the next step will be to start our service here if the status is not equal to running then in that case it will come inside that means our service is stopped so let's start the service and for that we will take help of start service command line. So write start service. The start service command line will start the service. So we need to mention the service name. So mention our name that is inside the service input variable. So let's use that. Okay. Now our service will be started. After that, we have to update the service object to get the new information. And that's how we can do that. So let's use the service object. And let's use the refresh method here. The refresh method here will refresh the service object to reflect the new state. So let's write on the console. And now let's write the status of the service. And we can use service info object here dot status again. Status. Okay. And let's also use the else keyword here. And inside that we will print right host the service is already running okay so let's execute the script and here it is asking please enter the service name and the service name in our case is spooler and right now it is running you can see the service status it is running so let's verify so mention spooler here and you can see the service is running has been printed on the console now let's try to stop the service and let's see whether it will start the service or not so come here and stop and let's see the status now it is stopped now so let's come here and execute the script again and let's give spooler and hit enter it has printed that service is not started starting the service and it has written the status running so that means our service should be running now so we can come here and verify refresh this and double click and you can see the service status that is running. So this is a small script where we can start a service if not running.